Speaking of breaking news, we do have a Fox News alert. We're learning China has flown a pair of long-range nuclear-capable bombers around Taiwan for the very first time. And it happened less than a week before President-elect Trump took that congratulatory phone call, as it's been described, from Taiwan's leader. Lucas Tomlinson is live at the Pentagon. He's, he's part of the team breaking this story. Lucas, what do we know about this so far? Well, Jenna, we know that the flight took place less than a week before President-elect Donald Trump spoke to the Taiwanese president. A pair of Chinese nuclear-capable H-6 bombers flew from a base in mainland China, escorted by two other planes. They were doing uh, surveillance, uh, conducted a flight around the island of Taiwan, as you said, for the first time, and we drew a response from the Japanese Air Force, who scrambled eight F-15 fighter jets. Uh, to take a look at this uh, unprecedented Chinese flight. And some would say aggression, although one U.S. expert that we spoke to was not surprised at all. China has steadily built up a massive military capability in the area around Taiwan. This isn't simply a matter of flying bombers. Understand that technically we can't object to flying bombers near Taiwan if we are flying combat aircraft and reconnaissance aircraft near China. And Jenna, this isn't, of course, the only threat facing the, the new president-elect and his administration. Uh, Russia continues to challenge uh, the current administration. Just in the last few weeks, Russia has deployed anti-ship, anti-surface, and short-range ballistic missiles to Kaliningrad, a Russian enclave in Europe which borders Poland and Lithuania. And they're in range of many Western European capitals. Uh, last week, I went out to the USS George H.W. Bush, a 100,000-ton warship uh, conducting flight operations in the, in the Atlantic Ocean, getting prepared for its next deployment. I asked the commanding officer of the ship about the challenges he faces. It is absolutely vital that we understand uh, that Russia's capability uh, has uh, been reinvigorated and uh, they have certain interests that are divergent from ours. So we need to understand their capability uh, as well as understand strategically what they intend to do so that if required we can counter that. Jenna, that aircraft carrier launched the first airstrikes against ISIS in August of 2014. Two and a half years later, that aircraft carrier is returning to the fight. Now, in a tit-for-tat last week, the U.S. State Department approved a weapons package to Poland to the tune of $200 million uh, of air-to-surface missiles going to Poland, uh, which shows the challenges that still exist. And one other bit of news, Jenna, on Saturday, another Russian fighter jet crashed attempting to land aboard its aircraft carrier in the eastern Mediterranean that Admiral Kuznetsov. So we'll be watching all the latest and reporting. A lot of hotspots around the world, that's for sure. Lucas, thank you.